Hey friends, it's Brian from the Renaissance Caveman. Tonight I want to do a real quick screencast to show you guys a couple of options that you've got online to help you give your trash a second chance. So those of you that follow me on my website or my YouTube channel know that I'm a little bit of a freak about reusing things. In my woodworking projects, I almost always save my wood scrap to build smaller projects. The other byproduct from those projects is sawdust, and I use that to mulch my garden, and I use it for bedding for my worm farm. And then speaking of the worms, I use the worm castings, which is basically worm poop, to fertilize my garden. Um, I try to keep the system as closed as possible at my house, and I do a pretty good job of that, but there is only so much you can do when you live in town. So what do you do with the stuff that doesn't fall neatly into your own recycle, reduce, reuse system at your own house? You're almost certainly going to run into some things or some materials that have absolutely no value to you, but might be completely indispensable to some other like-minded individual that just happens to have a different set of needs than you do. Now, I've tried offering stuff to friends and family via Facebook, and that works fine so long as you stick to everyday stuff like clothing and furniture and appliances, but you can go too far with it, and not only are people not going to respond, they're going to think you're a little bit weird for spending so much energy to avoid putting something in the trash. Most people just aren't into this. You might think about listing your items on the free section of your local Craigslist, and that's fine, but I haven't had much personal success with it. In my area, which would be the Williamsport or Harrisburg Craigslist sites, the free section seems to be where pallets and pianos go to die. It's also where people try to scam you into cutting their trees down for free. Now, personally, when I've put things on the free section of Craigslist, I've received more spam and flat-out scam responses than legit responses. And the ones that have been legitimate, the people haven't bothered to show up after the fact. Fortunately, I found that there's a lot of like-minded people out there on the internet that are excited about giving new life to the stuff that they're ready to throw out. A couple of years ago, I discovered a group called Free Cycle. Free Cycle's a group that's out there on Yahoo Groups, or more accurately, it's a bunch of groups on Yahoo Groups that are geographically diverse, kind of like you've got multiple Craigslist. Um, out on Free Cycle, people post their offers and they post their wants, which is basically things they want to give away and things that they're looking for. Now, I didn't do very well with Free Cycle. Admittedly, I had some issues with the way their website worked and I had some problems with the way the moderators moderate the group. Basically, they're very picky about the way that you uh, list and word your offers and I had a lot of things that were removed at first. Now, admittedly, I think the problems that I had with FreeCycle were caused by the fact that I was new to it and I didn't understand what I was doing before I started using it. So, maybe give FreeCycle another chance. Here I have it up on my screen and basically the way it works is you go to FreeCycle.org and you find a group near you by either typing in the name of your town or your state or your county. Now, I know for a fact that my town does not have a local free cycle, but my county does. So if I type in Union County, PA, I should get a list of local or at least semi-local stuff. See, we've got a bunch of counties in Pennsylvania, and there is Union County. And it gives a little bit of information here, but you can go to the Visit Union County Yahoo group where you actually interact with the group. Um, you can click join group and if you're admitted into the group then you can post your offers and you can post your wants. Not too long after my experience with FreeCycle I came across this website which is called Trash Nothing and you can find it at TrashNothing.com. Trash Nothing is basically an interface that sits on top of the FreeCycle group and adds a whole bunch of awesome features. Now the most important feature is that when you post an offer or a want via Trash Nothing it's automatically posted in a format that should be approved by the moderators, or at least not deleted as easily. The other feature that I like is that you can log in with your Facebook account, so you don't need to create a whole new set of credentials. And the other feature that goes along with that is that you can opt to have your posts automatically posted on your Facebook wall as well, so your friends can get first dips. Um, another feature that I really like is that you can set up customized notifications. So for example, I automatically get an email when somebody makes an offer that has the keywords wood or books. And I think that's really awesome. Now, there's a couple other things that I really like about Trash Nothing and FreeCycle. And the first one is that it is obviously free. And not only is it free to use, but it is free in the sense that nobody can make an offer that will cost you money. In fact, if somebody makes an offer and expects money in return, it's going to get deleted from the forum. 
Um, another thing that I really like about it is the fact that it's moderated in the first place, and it really it keeps the riffraff out that you get on uh, Craigslist, and that's a really great feature in and of itself. Now, if there's anything negative that I could possibly say about Trash Nothing or Free Cycle, it would probably be this. I thought I was dealing with a little utopian anti-consumption hippie commune here, and some experiences today showed me that uh, the Facebook yard sale crowd has clearly invaded. For the first time ever, I had a negative response on an offer. Apparently, a woman thought that since she sent me an email, she had called dibs, and then she was mad when she didn't get something. You know, it's it's pretty typical of people, I think. You know, they just feel like they're entitled to stuff, and I don't know why, but I hope that the moderators of Trash Nothing and Free Cycle quickly nip that kind of behavior in the butt, and I think they will. Now, before I'm finished talking, I want to share one more online resource that I am really keeping an eye on right now. It's called Earthenear, and you can find it at www.earthenear.com. Earthenear is basically a social network for homesteaders, but it's geared more towards information and resource sharing and less about bitching about your coworkers and begging for Farmville cows. Earthenear is still really young and really small, and it can be pretty hard to find people in your local area that are involved that you can trade with. But the fact of the matter is, the people that are on here are precisely the sort of folks that are going to be interested in giving and receiving and bartering for free stuff. So while it might not be a useful resource for you today, it very well could be tomorrow. So I, I really suggest you check it out and keep an eye on it. Well, that's really all I've got for tonight, folks. I hope I've given you a couple of ideas about how you can keep your stuff out of the trash just by shifting it to other people who might still find it useful. Remember to check out earthenear.com. Remember to check out Trash Nothing and Free Cycle. Um, well, that's it. Have a great night. I'll catch you later.